the foundation of the Pennsylvania Medical Society. A shelter from the storm. I think the foundation has been both a shelter for me in terms of finances, in terms of allowing me to go through our medical school and worry a little bit less about all the repayment coming down the line, all the debt that I'm incurring. Um, but it's also been a shelter in terms of providing these mentors and these advisees. It's very rewarding to help other physicians through the lifeguard program, knowing that we can um, identify any area that needs help and get that help for them so that they can continue to practice safely, um, providing care to the patients in our community. The PHP is the most important organization in my life today. We are, as physicians, all just human beings trying to provide care for one another for a lifetime. And as we age, we develop problems just like anybody else. I have been working closely together with the lifeguard group um, as Vice President of Medical Affairs at Riddle Hospital for approximately four years. During that period of time, I have been repeatedly impressed by the services provided for our physicians in need. It is so important that the lifeguard program is available for us to take care of one another, to identify when we can be helped. It's important to educate our other physician leaders, our hospital administrators, our governing body about the services that lifeguard has. Lifeguard can help hospitals and physicians provide the best and safest care to our patients. I wanted to go to medical school because when it came down to it, it, medicine was really the thing that inspired me and excited me more than anything else I've ever done. Medical school is incredibly expensive these days. I'm financing med school on my own without help from my family. A big part of the challenge was sort of figuring out how to budget out the appropriate amount of loans, how to one day pay back all of that. When I found out about the foundation loan, it was incredibly encouraging to know that I could get such a large portion of my tuition accounted for. I'm also on a scholarship from my county, which is affiliated with the foundation. I know I had a lot of questions. Um, it was the first scholarship I was applying for in a long time, and I was a little bit anxious about that as well. And I ended up going back and forth to the foundation via email quite a bit, and they were really supportive, really understanding, and very helpful with the whole application process. If I couldn't have gotten the financial support that I needed through the foundation, I would have taken out more government loans. I think it would have put a real strain on residency. So now that I'm done with the financial process, I am finally in my first year of medical school, and so I have six more months of preclinical curriculum, and then I'll be starting clinics in January, which I can't wait for. I am an idealist, and I do want to try to change the world in some way, and for me, medicine is the way that I want to do it. When I accomplished my goal of becoming an anesthesiologist, I felt very self-assured, confident, excited, and in control of my life. I was an extremely popular physician. My reputation was outstanding. I had access to a large quantity of controlled substances. One of the choices I made was to begin dabbling with prescription narcotics. My prescription drug use escalated to the point that it was affecting my health and my sleep. I received a letter from the Drug Enforcement Administration informing me that I was being investigated. It was clear to me that I was a very sick human being and it was unclear to me whether I should commit suicide or reach out and find help. As I was preparing to take my own life, I remembered a physician who had become addicted to controlled substances and I had heard had a successful career today. I called him and he gave me a phone number. He told me that I don't have to feel this way anymore. The phone number was the phone number of the Physician's Health Program.
today my life is beyond my wildest dreams. I need to repay my debt of gratitude to the PHP for providing me with the path to get me from where I have been to where I am today. We want to continue to practice and serve our patients. It's wonderful to know that the lifeguard group of the Foundation of Pennsylvania Medical Society can help us to do that safely. I believe that people should really reach out and support the foundation because they have made my medical school experience infinitely better. You know, if I could, I would really love to personally thank everyone who has contributed in a way. I think that the community of doctors is a lot about giving back and sort of helping the younger generation, um, and I think the foundation really exemplifies that. I cannot imagine the future if the future did not include a strong, healthy PHP and foundation. The Foundation of the Pennsylvania Medical Society. Your shelter from the storm.